Allie, the time has come. Is there anything you would like to tell me? I would, Teresa. Oh, wow. What is it? I'd like to tell you that I was so attracted to my therapist that I okay. had to quit therapy. This is the same one you mentioned? This is a different. not sweet Amy. Okay. So I stopped going to Amy in this year, 2022. Okay. I was like, I need a break from therapy. I've been talking about the same issues for a long time, and I don't think talk therapy is what I want right now. I think mm-hmm. I want to try, like... EMDR um done that yeah right. I'd never done it before so I was like I want to try something that's like gonna make me feel like I'm not I would come I would go to her and just be like climate change for an hour I would right. talk about climate change and I was like this is an issue but I don't know if I need to be in weekly therapy at this point in my life it's almost like you're just like opening a box and like rearranging it and being like everything's there and then putting it back right and yeah yes yeah it was just basically like a habit at that point um, so about six months later, I was like, just like going through a ton of stress and I was like, I want to get back into therapy and I want to try EMDR finally. I like looked up his picture on his website. I was like, great. He looks great. I wasn't like, wow, this guy's super hot. <laughs> I show up day one. I immediately was just like, this is going to be a problem. Like you go, there's chemistry. Like he was waiting for me on the street because I couldn't find the building. And I was like, I think I'm in the wrong place. He was like, I'll come out. And like, so I was like walking, as I walked up to him, I was like, there was chemistry. He was wearing like a black t-shirt. He was like tatted up. Ah. He was like. Feels like a first date. You're like, oh, am I in the right place? (laughs) Yes, exactly. Allie? (laughs) He like brings me into his office. It's like so well decorated. Uh-huh. He's like in this t-shirt and he's just like, so like, why do you, what brings you in here today? And it was horrible because he was a really good therapist. Like mm. I was like crying by the end. I was like, You're emotional, was, like, vulnerable. Yeah. And then I was like, I'm like, I can't believe I'm crying. He's like, do you have a hard time being vulnerable? And I was just like, oh God. Oh my gosh. Wait, I have a question. Okay. Had, had you ever had a male therapist before? I'd never had a male okay. therapist. Before. I've never either. But I, that was like my first thought. Cause I was like, oh, I wonder what that dynamic would be. I always end up getting women and now I just ask for it because I'm like, I don't know what it is, but completely. I sort of got to a point where I was like, I don't really care about the gender of my therapist. Yeah. Like I want someone who's so fucking good. Yeah. Like I want the best therapist. I want someone who's smarter than me. I want and I did I will say I thought this man I thought he was gay. Um, because on his website I read it wrong and it was like I'm LG like L G D LGT, LGBT friendly plus friendly and I think I'd like read it as like he was part of the community uh-huh. um well, he could be or I mean I don't know if you I asked mean him, maybe but he is yeah. but yeah I, I mean he, he totally could bi be or, yeah, but whatever. he's definitely yeah maybe he's bi he's definitely um <laughs> like he's definitely feeling it too <laughs> I, I I do feel I'm like he's into me like the uh-huh. I'm like he knows he knows well that's what you pick up but I do think that attraction is it's not really one-sided but like you can feel a strong attraction and you can like deny it or whatever but if you felt it immediately he probably did too and he's just a good professional but it's like yeah that kind of spark is not it's always like it because you connect to someone you know